Not too long ago, I heard from someone who is an avid gardener and has just started following my plan. Now, normally she plants a huge vegetable garden right about now with plenty of squash, tomatoes, zucchini, eggplant, and peppers. I get it, those plants are easy to grow and it's so satisfying to see and eat the fruits of your labor. But that's the problem. Those vegetables aren't vegetables at all. In fact, the most popular veggies to plant are actually fruits. Even worse, a lot of them are nightshades, making them the worst fruits you can eat. They're loaded with lectins. But whether you're an avid gardener or not, there are some things you can plant this year that will be incredibly satisfying to grow and keep you healthy too. And the best part is, all of these can be grown in a big backyard or in pots on your patio, or even on your windowsill. That means they're perfect for anyone who wants to give their green thumb a workout, no matter where they live. Even cooler, two of them can be grown from parts of food you'd usually throw away. So you're doing the planet even more good. So let me start with those, green onions and celery. You know, when a recipe calls for green onions and you've got those little white things left, Put them in a glass of water and leave them in a sunny place and they'll grow like weeds. It's seriously incredible how quickly they come back up. Now you can do the same thing with celery. Just cut the stems from the root end and put the root in a saucer of water. Wait a few days and you'll see new stalks growing. For both celery and green onions, make sure to change the water frequently. It's pretty gross if you don't. And feel free to plant them in soil after a while if you want. But you actually don't have to, just keep changing the water. Now, you can also grow fruit in your garden, and that's a great way to make sure you're getting fruit that's in season. Strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries are pretty easy to grow in the summer. But watch out, raspberry bushes can really take over a garden, as I learned in the past. But if you've got the space, a fig tree, a pomegranate tree, or a citrus tree can be really nice too. They can grow in pots. In most of the country, you can grow greens like lettuce, chard, kale, and sorrel all summer long. In fact, you can grow kale right up until Thanksgiving, even if you live somewhere chilly. But my favorite thing to grow, hands down, is herbs. I grow them at home and we even have a little herb garden here at Gundry MD headquarters. And other than olive oil and maybe garlic, herbs are the thing I use most in my cooking because they smell so great. If you've checked out the Plant Paradox cookbook, maybe you've noticed. I used lots of fresh herbs in my recipes, especially rosemary, parsley, basil, and mint. And all four of these herbs actually grow really well all over the country, both indoors and out. I find rosemary does well anywhere, even in really bright sunlight. That's why it's, so, it's in so many yards in Palm Springs. Now, mint's tricky. Not because it's hard to grow. Actually, it's just the opposite. Mint loves to take over the yard. So I suggest growing it in a pot no matter what and using it everywhere, not just in sweet dishes. In fact, try mint leaves in your favorite salad. It makes it taste really fresh. Now for parsley, go for flat leaf or Italian variety rather than the curly kind. The leaves have a lower water content, so the flavor is stronger, more bang for your buck. And if you see lots of different kinds of basil at your local nursery, try as many as possible. Genovese basil has a really clean herbal flavor, while sweet basil and Thai basil are a bit sweeter. And if you want a basil that's really high in polyphenols, try purple basil. It makes a weird looking pesto, but the flavor is great. And don't stop with those four. Try thyme, cilantro, dill, oregano, whatever flavors you love the most. And if you're not sure where to start, go to a nursery or home improvement store and just browse the herb section. If you like the way something smells, grab it. Because I'm Dr. Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to visit my website linked in the description box below for more of my best tips. If you haven't already, click the circular channel icon to subscribe and make sure you never miss another video. Because I'm Dr. Gundry and I'm always looking out for you.